Hello people, let's learn how to do the retargeting from the mocap in B2 SOS to some character using Auto Rig Pro. After you've done your animation, getting transforming the video to animation, you have this, this armature with the constraints, so you must finalize it first, and you have just the armature. After having the armature, you can import a character. In this case, I'm going to use a Mixamo one. It's best to go to the armature, automatic bone orientation, so you can load it. You can see the character is in the opposite direction. To be easier to map the character, I'm going to rotate it the z-axis so it's easier for us to do that now let's go to auto rig pro remap select the source bone armature to destination armature build bone list and here you're going to see all the bones from the source and the target you can see that detected none on the target so we'll have to do it manually let me put a wireframe for easier to see the bones what I like to do is select the destination and the source bone and go to the pose mode I think it's easy like that so we can check on the source and destination which bones we are going to use so let's start here on the shoulder and the arm back so on. So let's select the shoulder and see what's the name. It's shoulder L here. Select. Let's go to the destination one and we select the equivalent bone. It's left shoulder but we don't need to know the name. Just select the bone and press this button so it gets the bone. Now let's see which one is this. Upper arm go here now we select the destination press the button let us do another thing as we have to do the left and right side let me do the right side at the same time so right shoulder right arm we've done the upper arm let's do the forearm so forearm here select the destination press the button let's do the right one what else we got the hand here hand left hand let's do the right hand too okay what else let's go to uh, the most important bone here it's the spine let's go to the spine and here on the destination in my case it's hips select it now let's go to the thigh where is the thigh it's here select on the destination the right one and shin the shin, the destination, the right one, and the foot. Let's find the foot, destination, the right one. Sorry, I'm being repetitive. I think it's just easier to, to get <laughs> repeating this all the time. All the time. Sorry about that. And basically, it's the most important one. You can refine it to do a better animation. At this point, the head orientation, it's not so good. So it's not interesting to, to retarget that motion. But let's see. I think we've done the most important ones. So what we do is refine the rest pose. 
when you refine the rest pools, you can see in this case it's in the same orientation. We're gonna see another thing after that, after this, because usually you won't have on the same orientation. It's in the same orientation because I rotated before. But let's see what's what the bounds are in different orientation than the destination one. The arm bounds. So we select it on the source and copy selected bounds orientation rotation. We apply and now you can bind first just just to test. You can press this button here, the gear button, and press bind only. Oh, and we got an error set as root. That's that happened because we have to select here which bone is going to be the root. In this case, it's the spine in the mixamo, it's the hips. Set as root, and now we can bind it. And here you have the retarget animation. So, but let let us see the other problem, other thing that I've told about. If you have this armature, if you didn't rotate it, let me reset the rotation. I press Alt R to reset the rotation, and now you have that press Alt G for the location too. If you have and the original orientation that the uh, armature, the source armature was, it's going to be on the <coughs> on a different position. So when we do the refine rest pose, select the rest pose, okay, and you're going to see that the bone, the armature, is on the opposite orientation. So you have to rotate the source armature. By doing this, select the spine. See you selected, rotate, press R to rotate, Z to rotate on Z axis, and press 180 to rotate and have the bone in the same position as the destination. Now you can select the other bones that are not in the same position, in this case, still the arm bones, arm forearm, copy, apply. And now you can bind and it will work. Another thing that might be interesting is to scale, let me unbind, scale the bones to match the size. There is an out scale here, but for some reason it, it didn't work well. What you can do is scale the source armature and test it, binding it again. For me it looks better than the previous one. So that's it. You just learn how to do the retargeting to basically any character using mpp 2 sos 2 and Autobrick Pro. Hope you like it. Bye bye.